Kourtney Kardashian is calling out her sister Khloe after Khloe seemingly admitted that she feels guilty about buying her son from a surrogate mother. I felt really guilty that like this woman just had a, my baby and you're just, I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated. Like, I felt it's such a transactional experience. In a new episode of The Kardashians, Chloe revealed that she's struggling to bond with her son Tatum because he was born via surrogate. And while some fans praised Chloe for being honest, Courtney is reportedly very upset that Chloe used this as a storyline for the show. Because one day Tatum will watch his mom saying she feels guilty about buying him. I think in our family a lot, it's like, we know how to celebrate together. We know how to have fun together. We know how to help each other back up, almost on like a superficial level. Chloe's comments sparked a huge controversy among fans, and some of them are saying Chloe never even wanted to have another baby, and only went through with the surrogacy thinking it would make Tristan stop cheating. But what exactly did Courtney say about Chloe's comments about surrogacy? Did Chloe really buy Tatum to stop Tristan from leaving? Let's break it down. And then you like take the kid and you're like, bye, thank you so much. Khloe Kardashian has finally broken her silence on why she rarely posts photos of her son Tatum. And she admitted she still hasn't been able to fully bond with him because he was born via surrogate. Khloe also admitted that she felt bad about taking Tatum from the surrogate mom. And she said the whole thing felt like she was buying a baby. However, fans are speculating that the real reason Chloe regrets having Tatum is that shortly after she started the surrogacy process, Chloe found out that her on again, off again boyfriend Tristan Thompson had fathered a child with Marilee Nichols. And at that point, it was too late to call off surrogacy because Chloe's surrogate was already pregnant. Why would I want to have a baby with someone who's having a baby with somebody else? Because I'm not that much of a sociopath. <clears throat> I'm a lunatic, but not like that deranged. And while some fans are saying it's refreshing to hear Chloe be so open about her surrogacy experience, many others, including her sister Courtney, are calling out Chloe for saying all these things on their reality show without thinking how it will affect her son once he's old enough to watch it. Courtney also reportedly feels uncomfortable about how both Chloe and Kim were so quick to use a surrogate without considering the effects the process has on both the baby and the surrogate mom. See, commercial surrogacy which is the type of surrogacy where the surrogate is paid to carry someone else's baby, is illegal almost everywhere in the world. Only a handful of places allow it, including several states in the US and a few other countries like Mexico, Colombia, and Ukraine. And the reason why commercial surrogacy is banned almost everywhere is because it's exploitative and these types of agreements take advantage of low-income women. There are also serious psychological concerns because it's a scientific fact that a surrogate mother gets attached to the baby she's carrying, even if the baby is not hers. Now, as Chloe, she hinted at all this in the recent episode of Hulu's The Kardashians when she opened up about struggling to bond with her son Tatum. When the time came for her to take the baby home, Chloe said she felt guilty and described the experience as transactional, as if she was buying the baby from the surrogate mother. Go, 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 don't stop, don't stop. I felt really guilty that like this woman just had a, my baby and you're just, I take the baby and then I go to another room and you're sort of separated. Like I felt it's such a transactional experience because it's not about him. During the episode, Chloe was also seen talking to Kim and Scott about the surrogacy process, and she admitted that she hasn't been able to bond with her son the way she bonded with her daughter, True. But a surrogate process, Kim knows, it's really hard for me. Well, what does that mean? She had a really hard time accepting the whole process. Uh, got it. To mind it's really the right, weirdest I thing. Could... People can connect in different ways. People so could not connect. Do you feel less connected? Mm-hmm. That'll take a minute. Yeah, people say it will I take mean, a listen, but the Kim other was said 10 hers, months of hers walking was around. like easy. This is not easy. Kim then agreed with Chloe and said that when you carry the baby, you form an attachment while it's still in your belly. When the baby is in your belly, the baby actually feels your real heart. Think about it. Right. It like touches your organ like it's Feel, there's no one else on this planet that will feel you from the inside like that, like your heart. But why didn't Kim talk to Chloe about this before Chloe went through with the surrogacy process? In fact, if you watched the last season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, then you know Kim encouraged Chloe to have a baby via surrogate and talked about how it's an amazing experience. Also, when Chloe appeared on Kelly Clarkson's show last October, she said that if it wasn't for Kim, she would have never gone through with the surrogacy. If it wasn't for Kimberly, I definitely don't think I would have been as You wouldn't have been aware? I wouldn't have been aware. Yeah. I wouldn't have known as much. I watched her 
go through her journey and I'm so grateful for how open she's always been about her journey. However, in the new episode of The Kardashians, Chloe said she wished someone was honest with her about surrogacy and explained how surrogacy is different from a normal pregnancy. I wish someone was honest about surrogacy and the difference of it, but it doesn't mean it's bad or good. It's still great. It's just very different. But many fans felt this was such a strange thing to say, considering that Chloe previously claimed Kim was very open about her surrogacy. And plus, Chloe had all the resources to talk to professionals and inform her about what surrogacy is really like. Fans are now saying Chloe made a mistake by asking Kim for advice and she should have listened to Courtney instead. Because Courtney previously warned her it will feel strange to take the baby from the surrogate mother. It is kind of a weird experience though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like at the end when you're like, okay, okay thanks, bye. bye. <laughs> yeah. And then you like take the kid and you're like, bye, thank you so much. One fan on Reddit said that the surrogacy scene in the new episode of The Kardashians perfectly illustrates how Kim is a sociopath who loves seeing Chloe fail. Kim spent months telling Chloe surrogacy is amazing and encouraging it, the fan said. Now that Chloe is having regrets, she digs the knife in by saying, yeah, it's not the same. The baby didn't feel your heartbeat. Courtney would never have encouraged Chloe to get a surrogate for vanity purposes. By the way, this is exactly what Courtney was talking about in another recent episode of The Kardashians when she told Chloe that the family only supports each other in a superficial way. I was thinking about how in our family, we're so good at like celebrating and having fun. Mm -hmm. We're also good at like lifting each other up when we're like in a crisis, mm -hmm. like. For sure. But in like almost like a superficial way, like I don't think we know how to like be there for each other on like a deeper level. What? But what made both fans and Courtney even more upset about the whole surrogacy thing is the fact that Chloe openly admitted that having her son was transactional, as if she was buying him from the surrogate mom. And while some fans initially praised Chloe for admitting what surrogacy is really like, most fans are now saying it's very messed up to talk about this on a reality show because one day Tatum will grow up and see it. Everyone is already saying that the Car Jenner women value girls more than boys because girls are easier to monetize. And now on top of this, Tatum will also have to watch Chloe looking all miserable and regretful while talking about how she took him from his surrogate mom. One fan commented, for Chloe to put this on air is horrible. That child is going to see this one day. They have crossed the line by playing with the lives of children. Chloe didn't say she couldn't carry a baby again. I think she didn't want to gain weight, which is so selfish. Many fans are also saying they don't feel sorry for Chloe because she decided to have another baby with Tristan after he cheated on her multiple times. People adopt children and bond with them just fine all the time, one fan said. She let herself be a doormat for a man who had already betrayed her, who showed her his true colors, and yet she was determined to have him love her at whatever price. This is all her doing, and now at what cost to the little boy? But it's not just fans who feel this way. Courtney is also reportedly very upset and disappointed with Chloe for saying she felt like having Tatum was transactional. Sources close to Court are saying she tried to warn Chloe about all this before she even started the surrogacy process. However, Chloe wanted to listen to Kim. Meanwhile, Courtney also recently revealed that she and her husband Travis Barker decided to stop IVF and that they never even considered paying for a surrogate no matter how badly they want to have a child together. We are officially done with IVF. We would love a baby more than anything, but I just really believe in what God has in store for us. If that's a baby, then I believe that it will happen. And this is why fans no longer have any sympathy for either Chloe or Kim. And they're saying Courtney is the only Kardashian who doesn't treat her kids like commodities. Chloe, Kylie, Kim, they all use pregnancy to trap a man, one fan said. It was a means to an end, but the only one it worked out for temporarily was Kim. The other two dummies didn't read the room. And another fan added, listen, I know sometimes women who give birth feel disconnected, but you know these KKs got these babies outside court, like monetized accessories. Chloe lost her storyline because the baby's name got leaked. I feel so sorry for the baby who didn't ask to be here. So irresponsible. But how do you feel about Chloe saying having Tatum was transactional? Is Courtney really the only Kardashian who doesn't use her kids as accessories? Comment down below and make